Cool, I'm streaming now. Well, I died. I don't even know what killed me. Mm. Oh, I remember the other thing I wanted to do. Uh, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna change the lighting in the room real quick. I'm uh, gonna turn on that lamp over in the corner. Yeah, I set those there. Uh, should probably just be eating chips the whole time. Yeah, that's what I should be doing. No, I should. Oh, you should. You need to play. That's right, I do. That's a good point. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna actually start the run here. Alright. Three, two, one, go! The reboot. <laughs> you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> By your laughing, I'm gonna assume you get it. Ooh, you're in the boudoir. It's bot way. No. You can keep playing Gungeon if you want. No, that's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna put my switch over there. Mm. A lot of the run is this. Excuse me? I'm waiting. Why? Um, so every level, uh, these tears appear. Yeah, I no, I got them, that. I've seen enough of this to... And I need to wait for the tears to appear. Mm. I know where they're gonna be. I know where most of them are gonna be. Uh, and yeah, I just need to get there and then wait. If I press triangle, I can turn around real fast. Cool. I've never used it but when playing the game. It's just a thing that I could do. And there's another tear coming. Yeah. Uh, there it is! I see it! Get it! The waiting gets better on the later levels. I'm gonna grab this extra life because I... Sh From the perspective of someone who loves the waiting? Yeah. So there's more of it. No, no, that's not what I meant. Okay. All right. Uh. No process of elimination. I get what you meant now. Okay. To be clear, though, what do you think I meant? Key I'll leave it at that. Okay. I see a battery. I see health flying at you. Yeah, the battery is extra ammo, which I don't need. The health is health, which I could use, but I really don't need it. Are you currently using, like, the starter gun that has unlimited ammo? Yeah. In... I think it's the next level. Yeah, it's in the next level. I unlock the blaster, which does use ammo and will be the weapon I'm using for most of the run. Take that. I uh, see the billboards for silicone frozen data. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Are there other, uh, puns? Probably. There's the reboot. Oh, well, forget the reboot. At one point, this guy's fingers get crushed in a cutscene, and mm -hmm. he says, Oh, my digits! Nice. Yeah, that's my nice. favorite cutscene. <laughs> Now, were you a dorky enough kid who just loved that, or, uh... I don't think I got it when I was a kid. Really? Honestly. Okay. Oh, that's not so fun. So, are you gonna lose? Uh, no, this happened last time. Last night, too. I'll be fine. Which color of heal heals you fully? Cause... The... There's, like, big diamonds of... Okay, well, you can't see that one. There's a big ammo diamond up there, and those refill all of your ammo or health, respectively. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, sorry if I'm yawning. 
You know, some people yawn when they get excited. Uh-huh. Is that what's happening here? I was gonna say, but not me. No, I get it. Like, you probably had a long day at work. You're you're tired. You're sleepy. Yeah. Uh, I didn't work today. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. But, uh, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting stuck on this slope. There we go. Anyway, what I did last night was, uh, I just took out these guys in one shot, because you can, and then I climbed up and got the big health thing up there. And you still haven't beaten this game? No, I did beat it. Uh. Oh. I beat all of the levels individually, <laughs> without cheating. How long does it take? About two hours. Hmm. Oh. Well. I mean, world record speedrun is about two hours, and if it takes me longer than that, I must do very poorly. <laughs> it wasn't a good run, from what I watched. It wasn't terrible. It's not like he was dying all the time, but... You know what would be cool? Huh. If Wait, I had... Here. Yeah. Smash Bros, but with me at all times. Like if it was on some kind of a portable console? Yes. Oh man. Exactly. If only, right? You get me. Uh, you know, funny story. Uh huh. Uh, What's the funny story? Tell me. I like funny things. I think Claire has my copy of, uh, oh, of Smash 3DS? 3D. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, shit. A lot of people bitched about the controls for it, but I love them. They're great, still. To the day, I think it's one of the best purchases a 3DS owner can make. That's a big claim. The 3DS also has other games, I assume. Um, yeah, you bet your ass it does. Um, it has uh, Link Between Worlds. Oh, right, yeah. It has... All of the good ones, like Spirit Tracks and stuff like that. Uh, no, that there's all of the good ones. There's definitely. I think it has Virtual Console, so you can get like the Mesh oh, right. Cap and stuff. Like, yeah, there's ways you can get a ton of the library fleshed out if you're into uh, the Zelda series. Mm. Um, but also just the 3D of it, uh, for me. Okay. Yeah. And I can only speak for myself on this, because some people get headaches, apparently, but... Yeah, but you liked it. It's not just a gimmick for me. I think it works really well. Yeah. And it's a cool type of 3D, too. It's, it's like, not so much the things are popping out at you, which would be awful. Yeah. I mean, it's like you're looking into a little, um... It looks what do like, you call it? Like a... Uh... Diorama? Yeah, like a diorama. It's yeah. a certain kind of diorama. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Or I'm crazy, and it's just a diorama. Or like a shadow box, kind of. Yeah. Where people, like, cut out 2D shapes of stuff, and put them, like, spaced out so the box will be, like, a few inches deep. Right. Uh, it was really cool for the uh, Street Fighter game I had. That was mm. the first title I had on 3DS. That guy doesn't render for a second. I don't know why. Maybe yeah. it's because he's so ugly. Oh man, that's gotta be it. Did you see how short he is? They really didn't break the budget on designing that little thing. I should probably just, uh, wait here. Oh! Those have explosion damage. That's interesting. You just did that. I sure did. That is something I witnessed. Can somebody clip that? With God as my witness, he is broken in half! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get another key and then go fight a big spooky thing. Oh, so I have uh, I've talked to you a little bit uh, over text right as you were falling asleep about the uh, King K. Rule gameplay video. Oh, shit, um, it's right there. I am oh, clearly right not there. the only one who thought it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, because the new YouTuber Smash trend is K. 
King K. Rool gameplay analysis. We'll be like, I think he's S tier, <laughs> which is just the dumbest thing to say. Definitely. Because again, said 70 by people characters. Who, yeah. Yeah. Said by people whose opinions apparently matter. Right. They don't. Yeah. They no, I got don't. that. Nobody knows anything. And that's the beautiful equalizing part of uh, having it be a fresh game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've looked at a couple of them. Actually stick to the more level-headed people. Oh! Crap. Um, but here's the thing about trouble. that. Yeah. A lot of people were impressed by... Um, a lot of people misread it as well. Hmm. Um, they were like, ooh, he can get his crown back. I wonder how that happened. And they just, like, can't for the life of them decipher what's going on. Yeah. But very clearly, it turns into an item. Yeah. It starts flashing. Right. Like, hey, it's expiring. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a big flash of light appears on his head, and it's back. And yeah. a lot of people were like, ooh, where'd it come from? Yeah. Well, no, it just comes back. Um, and a lot of people, their favorite thing to comment is like, oh, well, if I just go as villager and pocket it, then he won't have his side B ever. And that's not how that's going to work, I imagine. I would guess it's, yeah. I would guess it would count it as, like, being an item that is on the ground. Yeah. The same way, so if he doesn't throw it in a while. I just nailed that timing. Um, so a link bomb does about six or eight percent. Okay. One hit of the side crown does six percent. Uh, so a potential for twelve percent pretty easily from a side B is nice. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, but people are like, wow, it's the best thing ever. I don't think it is. Right. It might be useful. But, nah. Yeah. No, oh, people are hyped for the character they wanted. Yeah. Yeah, my character. Okay. It was my idea. You were the first one. Were you the first one? Uh, no. What's well, the first one? Oh. But I was a big champion of him. Okay. Oh, the other thing people were saying is, uh, oh wow, he can, um, do, like, an aerial and then land immediately and be able to run around afterwards. That's is everybody. That just, yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that just a thing in the new game? Yeah. Uh, I thought everyone was paying attention when he said that in the first E3 thing, but, like, yeah, that's a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, but if you think about that, uh, there's a few characters who the new speed will not be kind to. Yeah. Namely, um... <laughs> it might make my Bowser Jr. a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, but it will definitely make my Olimar suck. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, because if pretty much every character can go ham and just body the other person with way more movement options, mm -hmm. then Olimar could be screwed. Because yeah. he's kind of... Like, if he was designed for something, then uh, my best guess is to be a zoning character, and that's kind of the best playstyle I've come up with. Yeah. Um, it's the only playstyle that gets me wins on For Glory, and he has some up-close options, but, like, not a whole lot. Yeah. You know the thing I do to you where the... Uh, I'll keep doing the down tilt, and it pushes me forward a little bit, so I can usually get, like, three strings out of it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do that anymore. Right? Because um, you'll, you'll get hit by it quickly, or, hmm, let me, with the balloon knock, knock back, uh, you'll get hit away from it quicker. But then you'll have more time to think about what you're going to do on the way down. Sure. And I think it's for stuff like that, kind of. But, um... 
I don't know, maybe at low percents it'll be possible still. Yeah, maybe. Um, one of the more level-headed guys who was talking about it was saying um, he actually likes the balloon knockback because, first of all, he uh, noticed that they lessened it. Mm -hmm. So it's actually only there now if you're looking for it. It's kind of hard to see. And um, so night cool of him to recognize that that particular critique uh, that the pros gave the devs already is visible. Yeah. That, that's really cool. Uh, but he was also saying, like, the cannonball combo that everyone is just going nuts over right. wouldn't have been possible without it. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, it's a guess. But I think he there's probably something to it. Yeah. Uh, like... I think they they thought long and hard about making it so that it didn't wreck combos, mm -hmm. and that the only time it does that is when uh, there wasn't really any kind of follow up you could do with your body by like running towards them. Yeah. But it does work if you shot something and you're trying to hit them into it. That kind of a thing. Yeah. Or if there's like a fun bumper item you threw and you try to get them into that. So, kind of, for me, it's like some sort of aim assist, mm -hmm. which is good. I think it's good. Feel free to opine, but <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people are freaking out about that and they shouldn't be. Yeah. Um,. Another cool thing is uh, Sakurai did another interview lately. Yeah. Which amaz is amazing that he can even find the time. But uh, he was saying that uh, the you know the mode they showed where you can do like uh, take a certain amount of percent or deal a certain amount and you'll get your final smash in a meter. Yeah. Uh, he said, oh yeah, I don't think this will be very competitive. This is just a for fun setting you can do. Oh, God damn it, what the fuck? And even if it's not true, yeah. or if he was lying for any reason, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like people will take that to heart and be like, yeah, okay, well, he said so, so let's never try it. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm sure people are going to try it. Yeah. I mean, it's a Smash game. People are going to try every part of it. If you're a tournament organizer, though... Uh, I don't know if you're going to try it. Maybe not early on, but I imagine the community will figure out. Yeah. Figure out if it's good enough to be worth it. There is a lot to talk about with that stuff, though. Yeah. Sit E. Oh, God, what is that? That's Enzo. Enzo? That's his name, Enzo. What do Italians have to do with computers? Nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna hang out here. One time I ordered a pizza on a computer. <laughs> Did a guy named Enzo deliver it? I don't think they were thinking about that, though. You don't think they were thinking about pizza deliveries online? In 1994, when they came up with the character? No. Especially not when you say it like that. I feel like you're feeding me the answer. <laughs> I don't know, Jake. The answer may surprise you. No. It probably won't surprise you, but it might. <laughs> well, I mean, probably, but how can you be sure until you hear the answer? Stay tuned for everyone's favorite cartoon character, Bob! Oh, so, based on what Sean was saying, did I win? Yes, just barely. Okay. It was basically a tie, though. 
I didn't want to make him say it. It was a tie, and if you were following the actual rules of the game, you would have won. Okay. Like, you guys skipped over some rules to simplify it for your first game. Yeah. And if you hadn't done that, and had set it up totally, you would have had... He would have only killed one of your specialists, and you would have killed two of his. Yeah. And by that, you would have won. Oh my god. Okay, I'll come back for this key later. I can't jump to anything from there. Why did I do that? <laughs> god damn it. Okay, I can jump to something from somewhere, right? I can jump down from this. That's what I was thinking of. There were a couple of Hail Marys there at the end where I could have won it outright. Yeah, I think. it actually got really close there. I also feel like it didn't have to be, and I'm wondering if the extra rolls would have led to more deaths. Probably, because he was saying there's ways you can make your accuracy better. Yeah. I mean, I know I need to charge my blaster shots, but I don't need to charge them that much. There's a tear! Oh shit, there is! You're right! Good thing you caught that. I didn't even There's notice. There's some health. I was trying to get it. Okay, okay. This jump took me a couple of tries last night. Oh, you were trying to get it. I thought you were trying to prove you didn't need it. Well, I, I wasn't. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, you've <laughs> got to be kidding me. Glitch. That's I never so dumb. had a problem bumping into cars last night. And that is the fourth time today I've accidentally interacted with one of them. Already. There's a battery. Oh, it's in your pocket. That wasn't a battery. That was an upgrade to my blaster. Whoa. Which I need, because it's the weapon I'm going to be mostly using. Does it carry on for the whole game? Yes. Can you just miss it and be screwed? No, there are a bunch of extra upgrades for the blaster as you go. As I get better at the game, I might end up figuring out that that's not the best one to pick up, but... But honestly, I think it's best Does to upgrade it early. one have a specific use? What do you mean? The one you picked up? Is it better at something? No, it just makes your blaster stronger, they all do. Oh. Once you upgrade it twice, there's a bunch of extra ones that just won't do anything anymore. So I guess you could say it's specialized in, in being strong. Sort of. I don't think you could say it specializes in anything, because they're all the same. But... But yes. you could. I guess you could, yes. Okay. Good to know. The, the Nathan Field or School of Interviewing. <laughs> but you could say that. Well, if I'm doing the platforming this bad this early on, I'm not having really high hopes for this run. Oh wait, can I jump straight there? I should try that, because if I can make that jump, I can. That's going to make things a lot easier in the future. Oh, crap. And it exploded on you. Those don't do much damage, but they do enough damage at this low health that I don't want to keep hitting them. Yeah, I'm also behind where I was last night. Not important. Yeah, I mean, as long as I finish this run, I'll beat the last one. 
Mend the tab before it reaches the principal office or all main. Here we go, first boss. So it's Sit E. Yeah, it's Sit E. Beverly or it's Sight Hills. E is how they pronounce it. Beverly Hills? Yeah, Beverly Hills is after this. And Lost Angles is the final level. Oh. Wait, I thought there were like 18 levels. Yeah, there are. I have my splits set up so it always shows the last one there. Hmm. Okay. Just doing little, little tiny bit of damage for a while. And then pretty soon here I should come into some battery packs and Get em. have rockets again. Get him! I'll shoot him. Shoot him while he jumps. Wait, are you talking to me or... You know what? <laughs> Don't answer. I think I know. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. No, you're losing. Ah, oh, you fucked it up. Hey, hey, that was way faster. You gotta protect that, uh, world record. Now you definitely know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Beverly Hills. Now I'm on the first hard level. Okay. Hey, uh, I don't think I'm gonna watch, but I'll just keep talking. That's fine. That's why I wanted you here. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not to be seen, that's for damn sure. I mean, I could tilt my camera very slightly so you'll be on camera. Okay. Yeah, your, your hand will show up in a second. There's a delay. I don't see it. There it is. It's starting to show up now, you can see it. Oh, there. Oh, thank God. That went so much worse last night. Hey, hey, get that out of here. Get that off of my stream. Oh, that is a huge delay. Yeah. <laughs> you look mildly amused. I am. I am mildly amused. Oh. Come on, get it. I think it's really cool that Sean wants to learn how to play. Yeah. Um, he has the right competitive spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh, that's right, I remember this one. Now. I don't know, um... I don't know what kinds of characters we would want to start him with, though. Uh, or that could we he... can try him with a few things and see what he likes. And that might even be the wrong question, too. It's like... Even in... Smash 4, there's so many characters that... Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Do we want to start him with 4 or Melee? Yeah, um... Because Melee is the better one that we like more, but 4 is probably going to be more similar to the new one. Uh... It will be more similar in a lot of obvious ways, but the way you play it might not. Yeah. Actually. Uh... Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah. Can leave it up to him. Yeah. I mean, one really good way to start out Smash is to say, hey, what Nintendo character do you like? And just play as them and see how you feel about it while you learn the physics of the game. Or what absurdly famous Konami character do you enjoy? Yeah. That too. Or Capcom. Or Sonic, but what famous Sonic character do you like? Is it Sonic? Well, we know it's not. <laughs> if it is, why is that? And if Sonic, why? And if Sonic, why? Parentheses rhetorical. <laughs> Fuck. 
Getting through these is tough. I did get through the actual like, hard part of the level already, though. So that's good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm holding that. That charged shot. Uh, that's not the right one. Apparently, the uh, the fear of having a contact lens fall off your eye yeah. and kind of like roll to the back of it. Yeah. It's just impossible. Yeah, I've heard that. It's an anatomical fear that's based off of not knowing how it works. Yeah. Because there are walls that block that off from happening. Right. Kind of a similar thing with uh, getting something stuck up your nose. Yeah. Your like nasal our, cavity goes straight back. Our bodies are kind of designed so that doesn't happen. Yeah. Also, your stomach isn't where you kind of like want your stomach to be. Yeah. It's a lot higher. Uh, just go. Oops. Go back. Okay. Okay. Oh, up. There you go. Shit. It's not what I wanted. Like, at all. I think I want this rocket upgrade. That's not how to do that. That is. It's not. And there we go, that is. December is so far away. It's happening in December. Yeah. Oh, right. That, that thing that we've been talking about nonstop for months. <laughs> I forgot. How could you? It's like you're asking me to bring it up again. Hey, there we go. Already saving a bunch of time on this level unless I die. made a hard jump and then missed an easy one. And now I need to do it again. Well, at least I made the hard jump again. Focus on making the easy jump next time. 
sage advice. But not on both of them. That won't work. Oh. Um. Can I take back what I said about sage advice? Uh, yes, you may. I do. Okay. Thought you meant later. Like, I'll, I'll stand by it for a bit, but watch out, because in a few hours... <laughs> While we're both sleeping. Like, soak it up now. Are you on the last level? No. The forecast for this sector calls for a high pressure situation due to scattered tears as Megabyte's reign of terror continues to play havoc with mainframe. Jokes. Is there a geek joke in particular you're you're laughing about right now? Oops. Uh, the whole damn game. Yeah, this game's a pretty good joke. <laughs> God damn it. Andy, you only have forty seconds. Four minutes. Oh yeah. Oh no! Fuck. If you're smooth, you can hop down one of them and then just like ride through all four of those little gates. But I'm not smooth. You're not smooth. No. Jump! Jump! Thank you. No! Fuck! Okay. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Jump. And now stand up here and don't touch it. Thank you, Bob. Hear them? What? Oh, get the. Get out of the way. Come on. I had a jump for this that worked. 
Is it just like that? Almost. Like that. There we go. I'm gonna have to make a different hard jump here. Basically that, except I make it. That was much worse. I'm really glad one of your bookmarks has been powdered toast man for like years. Yeah. Uh, that video uh, Is has it been really that taken down to you? for so long. Oh, it has? Yeah. Um, well, if you're asking if it's useful, as in how often do I click on it, the answer is, I accidentally click on it at least, like, once a month. Oh. It's, it's like John K. wants to be paid for the only work he did 20 years ago. Crazy, right? He's the hardest working deadbeat I've ever heard of. So weird that he even has to be like that. He's talented enough to have his own studio. People just know you shouldn't trust him with your money, though. Yeah. Oh my god. Another one of the problems with Flesher Studios was um, when they got to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. They had to move studios to Florida. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and uh, they even had, like, um, scholarships set up with local art schools that basically promised they would get an animation job after they graduated. Yeah. So it was a pretty good system. But, um, like, the kinds of people they had there were too soft. They weren't all first-generation immigrants born of dirt and poverty. Yeah. Uh, which apparently was a huge reason that they were such a gritty heel to uh, the Disney thing. Yeah. Um, so despite the fact that, like, all of the Disney guys pretty much just had to give it up uh, that they were better in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. uh, Disney kept prospering. And there were a lot of just crappy circumstances that made Flesher go under. Yeah. They definitely would have changed the direction that cartoons were going to if they would have stayed. It's whatever. Yeah. Their, uh, their very, very late stuff mm -hmm. looks pretty much just as good as any uh, Disney things of that era. We should try to watch... Um, you should try to watch the movie that got released on the same day Pearl Harbor was attacked. Because, <laughs> like, it's just kind of one of those footnotes that mm, you probably have to be a fan of this stuff to watch it. Yeah. Because, um, like, even when it got re-released and stuff, if it did, I'm assuming it did. Uh, like, no one had any nostalgia for this this movie that got completely eclipsed. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, definitely add that to the list. It's probably not too long either. Just like a comfortable 90 minutes or less. Right. Fuck. This isn't gonna go well. What up? Uh, the last chunk of this level involves doing some difficult platforming. Which, you might have picked up, is the hardest part of this game by a lot. 
This controls are shit. Because the controls are great, shut up. The controls are shit and you love them, admit it. I do. They are. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I mean, they're good enough that there are a lot of times when I do feel like I'm in control when I do something well. So they're not total shit. Ooh, wow. Really big, uh... As someone who's played a lot of bad games, yeah, that's a big step. Way to prop up the game. What are the red things on your minimap? And, uh... Those are those keys that I need to collect. Oh. Like the one over there. And I found out last night, I can just make this jump. I don't need to stop on that slope. Which is good, because slopes are a pain in the butt. Okay. These slopes I do need to be on, though. I wish you hadn't recently kicked into maximum overdrive for getting better at this game, because there's a couple games I want us to play uh, in preparation for Smash Ultimate. Yeah. Like, Smash Ultimate. No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, the games uh, that have uh, some of our favorite newcomers, uh, right. and also some of the oldies. Like the DK Country games. Where we've enjoyed them as characters for a long time, but we've never really taking the time to figure out why people love them so much. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country games I haven't played enough of. Uh, the handheld series, though. Mm -hmm. uh, do you even know who Kitty Kong is? No. I don't think people liked Kitty Kong, and I think he's gone now. To be clear, reason. is it K-I-D-D or K-I-T-T? Because I, I haven't heard of this character. K-I-D-D-I-E. Okay. Like a kid. Like, yeah. Okay. Not like a cat. Yeah. He is presumed to be Donkey Kong's son. Although, uh... That is also Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah. Which feeds into the whole theory that, like, Cranky Kong is Donkey Kong in 1981 when he was throwing barrels at Jumpman. Yeah. Who eventually became Mario... Uh, but like... Yeah, I've heard that crazy theory. It makes sense, though. And you it, would say that. It does, though. You, you DK truther. If it if you shift the generations over just a little bit, it kind of justifies a few things they did in the past. Why? Sorry, those were... Is it that crazy of a, of a theory to you? No, I'm okay. just giving you shit. Okay. Yeah, no, that does make a little bit of sense. Uh, and then I got really confused because it wasn't letting me skip this cutscene, which I thought you could skip. This reminds me of can. a scene in Hellraiser. It's the scene when Bob is fighting the, uh, the, the dust god. What? No, wait, that's Reboot. That's a scene from the game that I'm playing right now. That's this scene. This is the Dust God? I don't remember what it's called. The... Sorry, hold on. Is he Dust? Is that what that is? They call it something like that. I'm forgetting what it is actually called. You know, maybe rockets do work against this. I thought the best way to fight this boss was with charged shots of this gun. I guess rockets work. That's sufficiently scary for a kid's game. Uh, yeah. Also, holy crap, that's the fastest I've ever taken care of that tear. Like, usually that tear takes me to the end of the level and I finish it with, like, eight seconds left. Help us, Bob. You're our only hope. Kits.
Uh, I don't get the joke. What's kits? Uh, not everything has to be a joke. Tell that to the guys who made Reboot. <laughs> Maybe more kids would have been on board. I tried, they did not return my calls. How did that call go? Um, Roleplay it. Hi, is this Ian Gibson, the guy, one of the guys who made Reboot? My name's Andy, uh, I really like your show, but I wish you guys knew that not everything has to be a joke. I wish you'd stop making everything a joke, your show's really cool. Okay. Uh, those are the messages that I left, more or less. Also, I called them when I was apparently, like, a prepubescent boy. Oops. Uh, no, you've never sounded like that. Yeah, I was a different prepubescent boy. <laughs> At the time. Back when your name was Andrea? Uh-huh. Sure. That's what I meant. <laughs> well... <laughs> you were a different person. I don't know. I don't know what else you could mean. Let's Those little health in. packets do nothing. It's 10% of your health. It's enough that I... As the player, I, I think it's a noticeable difference. Andy, you don't have the speech jammer on right now. No, I didn't. Also, hello, Code Solomon. It's a noticeable difference. Fuck, uh, Jake, tell me what Code Solomon says. Um, okay, I will, but... Have you, since using the speech jammer, uh, kind of stuttered a little bit? Uh, I've always stuttered a little bit. Okay, well, That's I do it a new. lot too, because I don't enunciate. Um, shh. Yeah, shut up, Enzo. Shut your stupid kid face. And I started wondering if I had, like, a, like some version of that going on, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the resonance in my head. Okay, so he said, I've arrived, I'm surprised you have a face cam. I'm surprised. Yeah, no, I got that. Ugh. Okay, oh well. Uh, yeah, I've had this face cam for a while, and only used it a couple of times. I didn't know that. Yeah. I got this webcam, like, well over a year ago. I just hardly use it, because it takes extra effort to set up. I it doesn't actually like... help viewer retention. I... It doesn't? Not really. I would have thought it made it more personable. Maybe. Uh, I especially like the way you set it up so that uh, there's just all the space to one side of you. Yeah. Because uh, God forbid I be visible. I told you, I could just turn the camera <laughs> and you would be visible. Uh, Do you want me to? Uh, I want me to. You can... Oh, actually, that'll be hard with all the delay. <laughs> I no, forgot about it that. it won't. Okay. Yeah, I'll just turn it a little it, bit. It'll just be a little bit of guess and check for a bit. Okay. Turning. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, wait. What? Are you turning it the wrong way? Yes. How did you do that? You... I mean, you're trying to turn it so you're on camera, right? You're not just turning it towards yourself? Um, well, hmm, this seems like not a great setup. Oh yeah, we might just be too far apart. Here. Are you just gonna sit behind me now? Are you okay with that? <laughs> You're so much closer to my head than I thought. <laughs> no, no, this is fine. I see why people don't do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I need to be closer. 
please. Don't. Don't. Wait, no, I don't need to be that close. It's just the delay it makes me feel it. That, that's a blaster upgrade. I don't need that. Okay, that should help. Got it. Sure. Like there, you could live with. Ah, uh, sure. Um, cool. So, which level are you on? Kits 1? This is like level... I don't actually know. I want to say around level 10. Out of 20? Out of 19. Um, actually, hold on. There's three bro three Bodway. Uh, I want to say three Site E. Uh, four Beverly Hills. So this is like 11. Okay. And a lot of the levels are bosses, which are arguably faster unless I mess them up real bad. I picked up more antivirus, right? Okay, good. Oh, uh, what is that? Antivirus, you know how there's like the enemies that are moving around shooting at you, but then there's also the... No, I didn't want to save! There's also the turrets who stay in place and shoot at you. Uh, sure. And yes. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Antivirus, if you hit a turret with it, it'll turn blue and shoot at enemies for you. Oh, and I haven't done this yet, but when you fight Megabyte on level 18, he basically is constantly spawning turrets, and I want to see if it works if you can just use antivirus on them and kick his ass. Does that require you to uh, stay alive with the power up and never pick up anything else for like 10 levels? No. It involves me not using a bunch of it. Uh, using a bunch of that specific power-up, but that's fine, I never want to use it again. I have no real need for it any other time. Except for in that level I just did. Oh, crud. Whatever, I think there's more battery... Oh? I guess it's just here? Oh, does that refill the, uh, sidearm? Yeah. Okay. If you run out of ammo, does it just go away and you can't use it? Um... God... Fuck. Sorry, these rockets are actually really hard to use, because a lot of the time they just kind of break on the ground, and don't hurt the boss. You know what, I think I have more mortar. I'll use some of that. That's hurting him a little bit. Uh, I have Looks some like vampire, I'll use nothing. that. Vampire. Fuck. There we go, okay. Is it dead? No. Now I'm on the second phase. It's basically the same, except it doesn't have legs anymore. And if I can land all my rocket hits instead of missing most of them... They're not uh, heat-seeking? Nope. Well, they kind of are. The aim in this whole or, game is a little weird. Okay. You mean like everything else in this game? Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, it's a surf map. Okay, this is just gonna take a bit. Does it usually take this long? Uh, not if I miss all my rockets. I didn't miss all my rockets. Also, I've only fought this boss three times in my life. Uh, so, usually is also just kind of a hard thing to 
let's say. Well, you're shooting a lot of the Oh, ground. there we go. He's done. Now he drops that, and I need to take care of it real quick. And that's the fastest I've ever taken care of that. Okay, well... PB. Peanut butter. Last a couple of days. And boop. There you go. Aiming it more towards me. Uh, I think that's what I did. Yeah. Okay. We'll know in a couple hours when it. Yep. Yeah. There. Where is the first one to go to? Oh, is it just this one? I think it's just this one. Uh, do you have the internet on your smartphone? Kinda. Okay. Uh, I've been trying to not use any data, uh, but I can connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. I just wanted to verify that I don't have work tomorrow. Oh, uh, do you not have your phone with you? Yeah, no, I think I left it at home. <laughs> when I changed it. That and, looks uh, very annoying. The Switch doesn't have internet or Netflix. So, oh. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. It's possible that they're going to do that when they come out with their online service. Yeah. I mean, if that's not when they're going to do it, then the answer is probably just never. Right. Where's this one? Where is... Oh, it's over there. Okay. It's over... this one. I think? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like a free blaster upgrade right there if you haven't gotten it yet. Like I said, there's a bunch of extra ones in the game. Because it's kind of an important weapon. Would normally just try to run past all of this, except I'm kind of really close to dying. I'd like to be able to pick up some of the health around here. And they keep dying so and throwing their health packs into the abyss. Yeah, which is cool. It's, it's a little annoying. This was the other level where I was considering keeping the antivirus because there's a turret next to all of the the tears in this level, and it'd be nice if I could just hit it with the antivirus and then not worry about it. What are these things that what? you've been collecting the whole game? The keys? Keys? Yeah. They open the, uh... That's not Doors? The vid windows that take you to the next level. Okay. There we go. Good. I believe this... Are you serious? Again? Again wow. a car gets in my way? Oh, that was a car? I mean, that's... I mean, you know, this one was like a car. golf cart, and I knew it was there, but still. It's oh, annoying. is that where you are? You're on a green? <laughs> yeah. It's floating Point Park. It's basically a golf course. Yeah, there we go. That was gonna happen anytime. Floating Point, like, decimal? Yeah. Fun. No! Are you serious? The first time I played through this level, it was so easy, and those golf carts were always out of the way. It's gonna do it again. No, it won't. I'm not gonna let it. Well, well we've heard that one before. I don't think I've said that before. Well, you're in a sand trap, so... <laughs> you're right. You got me. You know, I just realized... Oh, I forgot Those to... are not wrenches. Those are our golf clubs he's throwing at you. Yeah, I forgot to make the last split. Is there but... some kind of golf thing about computers uh, that makes a joke? No, I think it's just that this is like a golf park. Because it's a floating point park. And, uh, is, and so golf. Is golf like a term in... No. Compu no. No. 
Well, maybe they took your advice that not everything has to be choked. You know, maybe they did. That'd be cool. The villain in this reminds me of something recent. Something where the villain looked exactly like that. Yeah? Maybe it's just because it's a board. Did design. you ever watch uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Disney movie? No, but I haven't seen the Lego movie, and I think I could be thinking of that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, the guy who voices Megabyte voiced the bad guy in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Rollo? Maybe? I think that I, was his name. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I'm gonna grab this health, even though it's gonna waste time, and I might get hit by this golf cart. Also, I think I can make that jump. Yes. Uh, also, I should kill this guy before he hits me off, because he definitely will. Why are you not aiming down? Maybe you could ask him to stop being an asshole. Um, I don't know that I can. Oh. So, oh, yeah, which button does that? <laughs> Looks like Thanos a little bit. A little bit, I can see that. Oh. Wait, this is bad. Can I make this jump, please? No, can I make this jump? Okay, good. Good course correct. Go for it! I did. And I made it. There is a shield in this level, and I have no idea when I would ever use it. I feel like someday you're gonna make a game where the controls are like Waluigi on ice on a hoverboard. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds like something I would do. Ignoring that a few of those cancel each other out. Mm-hmm. And you'll just be like, wow, it's so fun, and no one will enjoy it. It's very possible. <laughs> okay. Oh, the level I lost on last time is coming up. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the level after this. After this boss. Oh! Oops. So you were really close. Uh, yeah, I was pretty close. It's level 15 and 19. Uh, I think I'm gonna take off and, yeah. um, have the stream running up while I'm in bed. Okay. Um, so I'll join you virtually pretty soon. Sure. Uh, don't die before I make it home, though. Uh, it's fine. I'm gonna save after this boss this time, so that when I inevitably lose on level 15, I'll be able to just pull up my save and keep playing. Does that not negate a speedrun? No. As long as I don't load a different save, that would be cheating. <laughs> I guess so. Alright, cool. Um, oh, better grab my switch. Save. My switch. Gonna go ahead and save in slot four, is what I'm gonna do. Okay. See you in a bit. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be me. Oh. <laughs> Too bad for you, then. Hey, Andy. Yeah? Any sort of, like, point for the direction of your door? Say this is the door. Oh, I don't know. I just started playing the next level. Anyway. Uh, it's kind of, like, down and then that way. Okay. Oh, Jake, you messed me up! I'm kidding. You really didn't. Uh, jump! Jump! Ah, crud. Oh, well. I'll just run through this then. Oh, that's not good. Actually, none of this is good. This is all going really bad. Good thing I have a safe I can go back to. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Warning. Incoming chairs. Evacuate 
Ugh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Just gotta play it cool. Play it cool. Don't don't swing around too much. Don't do that. Don't do exactly that. That thing you just did. Perfect. Basically no problems. Okay. Let's see if I can be super fancy and get these two keys that are normally a huge pain. Okay, made the first jump. Made the second jump. Where's the key get? Oh, that's right, it's over there. Made the second of three hard jumps. And jump three, down. Cool, I'm so happy I figured that out. That was a very hard part of this level before. Oh, by the way, Code, uh, I finally watched uh, episodes two and three of the God of War playthrough. Darn it. Um, so I, I am slowly working my way through that. Like I said, I would. Oops. I didn't want to land there. Okay, okay, jump. And jump! Oh, crud. If I mess up this time, even the supercomputer won't want me back. Okay, so if I die again, I have to load up that save. And also get the first tear in those keys again. Ooh, that's a nice jump. Third key. Okay, I'm gonna try to go across this a different way. Hey, it actually kind of worked. Almost. I'm by the tear. That's what I needed. Mend the tears before my sector is destroyed. Okay, I'm in the corner. I can get the tear. Okay. Now I'm onto the hard part of the level. Need to get back across this without dying, or else all game over. Oh my god, I did it first try! How did that even happen? <laughs> you have no idea how happy that makes me. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I can do that. I can go across here. I can go over to where the next tear is going to appear. And be way on top of it. Can I make that jump even? Uh, not really. I really need to kill this guy, though, or else I'm gonna die. Bob, why are you not auto-targeting him? Thank you. Okay, okay. Third tear. This is the actually hard one. I mean, the other ones were kind of hard to get to, but this is... A hard one to get. Crud. Crud, 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 crud. Okay, I got some of it. And I don't think these tears regenerate, so I just need to get the rest. No! Crud. Very, very big crud. Very, very big crud. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to hop up here. Right. And then hop over here. And then over here and down here because there's health there. I need that very badly. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? Also, why are you even here? 
I don't know why I'm trying to fight him. If I fall down here a couple more times, I'm dead anyway. Bob, please. No! I mean, don't get me wrong, this tear is hard to get, but I didn't think it would actually be this hard. There we go, that's what's supposed to happen. And now, I practiced this a little bit earlier. It's fairly precise, but I can do that to jump up to this last key. Okay, okay. I'm gonna wait for this to... Oh. These are on different cycles than I was expecting. Also, I was expecting this block to be moving much, much faster. Oh well, that's okay. I wonder if, like, their movement speed and position is kind of random. And, uh... That looks like it's not at all what it's supposed to be doing. These blocks are supposed to be following this path I'm on. Oh well, okay. That's okay. This is gonna come back and I'm gonna jump past it. And then I'm gonna jump to the exit, and I did it. I did it! I'm also going to save after every level this time, because I could very easily game over at any point here. Oh, and I finished the level. Man. Yeah, it's, it's really bad that I only have one life. Uh, wait, that's... Sorry, I'm supposed to start going up this left side. Oh! You know what? No, it doesn't matter. Oh! Come on. Get it. Okay, good. Now, the second tear, yeah, it's in there. So I do want to grab this shield right now. And then I will hop in, get that rocket upgrade, and wreck these turrets. And all of these turrets. Thank you. And then I have a shield, so I can just hang out next to it. Good. You started, we happy few if you didn't see. I did see that, and I plan on watching that too. All of those rockets just going directly into the floor. I don't know what it is about the rockets that make them act like that, but if I could figure out how to shoot accurately with the rockets, that would totally change how good or bad I am at this run. Okay. Third tear is now down. I'm going to pick up this extra life because I absolutely need it. I'm going to jump over here and pick up this extra ammo because I need it. Now I'm going to go for the keys, and this is the hard part of this level. Let's see if I can remember this. I go down here, but i got to be careful. But i got to jump over, land kind of here. Enemy. 
We've done both of them. I'm gonna jump over here and take it slow. Jump across. And then up. And then up. Okay. That's one of the keys. And then the other one is through a similarly difficult platforming section. This one, though, at the very least, has a skip that you can do that will make it very slightly easier. Oh, crud. Well, it's a good thing I had that extra life. Okay, let's try this again. Land there. Land down here. Land up here. Go up. Go right. Go left. Too far. I lost. It's not nice. That's fine though. I made a save. Thanks, Jake. I appreciate it. It was save slot four. I am on level sixteen. And I need to do the tears again. You know, there is a health thing right up there. I wonder if it would be best if I actually just ignore these turrets at the beginning. Oops. That went way too far over. That's not best. That's not good at all, actually. Ooh. Again. Come on. Jump. Jump up there. Are you serious? I just went so fast along that wall to get away from where I was trying to go. The movement in this game is really crazy. <sighs> Crud. You know what? I'm gonna restart the level and try again. Kill screen, we've got a... We've got a reboot kill screen coming up if anybody's interested. Okay. Easy peasy. That's how to take care of that room correctly. Okay. Okay. not what I wanted to... Why did I turn so much? I don't think I was holding any button that would make me turn. Just something... Something about the terrain can do that to you, I guess. <sighs> All of this just feels very loose right now. the extra life. Going back. Oh, I forgot to grab the ammo. <laughs> uh, I might not need it, actually. 
I'm at pretty good health, and there are only two turrets here. Got both of those fine. Okay, that is one down. Uh, I am actually going to grab the ammo that's up there. I kind of would really like that. Access granted. Okay, third try. Third time's the charm, as they say. Now, this should not actually be hard to mess up. It's just a straight jump up there that I don't think they realized you could make. But, but I did it, and that's all I need. Hey, Den. Oh, good. I'm glad you can see the game and my beautiful, beautiful face on the face cam. Uh, that's the wrong way. I wanted to go in here. Level done. Oh, oh boy. Slot four is what I'm using. Okay, now this next level is very hard, except I figured out a route that makes it a little bit easier. Also, I can just go through that fire without worrying. Oops. Ah, uh, there we go. Please get it. Actually, I do want to be on these rockets, I forgot. Okay, now, there's one of these freight cars here. I'm going to wait until that box comes over, and I'm going to ride that box to the next tear. Someday. That's not good. Can I? Please let me jump to it from here. Please. Please. Oh, crap. Oh no! Oh, there will be no second chances. Mainframe is ruined if you can't see And it's now. gone. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna restart the level. That'd be the easiest way to do this. Because if I can't ride that box over, I'm not getting over there. Warning: Incoming tears. How do you take damage from whatever the heck that is when you're on a hoverboard? Uh, I don't know. This is a computer. Maybe... Your next era could be... You know what? I think I only need one life. As long as I can make it. That was really bad. Um... No, I assumed that that's basically lava, and lava's still hot when you're on a hoverboard. Tune in next level and see for yourself. Warning. Incoming tears. Evacuate area immediately. Oh, get it. Thank you. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, I gotta get onto this box better. There we go. That's better. 
That's much better. Now I wait. For kind of a while. And it will stop there for me. Because that is actually an intended method. Okay, two tears down. Taking out that rocket because it's annoying. Now, I want to go and jump. And that's not where I wanted to jump. Okay, but that's fine. I have one more life from this spot. This level seemed so easy when I was practicing it. Okay. From here, I should be able to just jump there. Yes. And that is what makes this whole thing work. Now from there, I go here. And then I need to actually... Be serious. To get up onto this and get the key. And then I need to go over here and grab this life and then get up to this tear. And if I'm fast, which I'm not, and now I'm dead and I screwed the level again, I need to reset. I practiced this route and I did it like three times in a row earlier without making a mistake. So I guess it's not as consistent as I had hoped. Is this a tough level? Yes. All three of these last levels are pretty tough. Because after this, it's the final two bosses. It's just two bosses after this, and then the game's over, and I won. And I won, and even still, I probably smashed world record by kind of a lot. Yeah, honestly, I imagine this game could probably go to, like, an hour and 15 minutes. Can I just jump there? I can't. That's a good thing to know. This is just practice now. <laughs> But yeah, if I could get good enough at the platforming to just go down across those bottom platforms, that'd save... God, like 20 or 30 seconds per attempt on this level? That'd be great. Yeah. that health though. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Good. Oh my god, I can just go through fire. I need to stop being afraid of fire. It barely hurts you. Okay. And jump. First jump. Down. Also, I think if I could get this second key at the start, that would help a lot. I should probably start doing that instead. 
because it takes a lot of time with my shield to do that. And if I run out of time with the shield at this point, I'm kind of screwed. Also, I mean, I have, you know, a few lives at this point, and getting to the vid window isn't that hard, but if I still had the shield right now, and I wanted to get to the vid window, it would be really easy. Because, yeah, currently, what I need to do is kind of float along here and drop onto that, and then pull back and run and jump, except make that jump. Oh, shut up, Megabyte. Nobody asked you. Okay. Third time's the charm. Well, then. That's fine, though. I think I'm gonna do the, uh... the other strategy I was talking about, where I get the second key at the start, instead of, uh instead of when I have the shield. And as long as I can do that, uh, this should go better. The big risk with this is, uh... Can I make this jump? Ooh! I totally can. I just, uh... just need to not overshoot it. Um... The big risk with this route, though, is the box I need to ride might get get to uh, the the box I need to ride might get to the forklift too early. Jump. Good. Go land right there, and then go forward, and then get it. Why did that happen? It just completely turned me around. And yeah, I got here with plenty of time for uh, that box. Okay. So I think if I can practice that first jump, so I make it consistently, this will be a much better route. Okay, I'm not going to shoot rockets on this, because sometimes they're homing onto the thing I'm riding. And I need this thing I'm riding to live. Good. No, don't go that far over, please. <clears throat> Good. Good. And now I'm gonna wait a minute for the tear to appear. Because I do not want to waste any time with this shield. Can I get up there, please? Ah. I know you can make that jump, I just finished too early. Oh my god, Bob, what are you doing? Why are you swinging around like that? Okay, now I need to just bolt to the window. Fuck, I'm running out of shield. Oh, I made it! Oh my god, I made it. Level complete. All 
So that's how to do that level. That's my crazy route for that level that I am lucky worked. So now I just have Megabyte and Hexadecimal, and then I won. Welcome to my oh, and Jake, if you're still here, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier with the antivirus. I want to see if I can just turn all of his turrets against him. Uh, I think he spawns some better ones, though. So if I'm gonna do it, I should probably wait. Also, my health is getting torn apart. I guess he doesn't spawn better ones. Oh well. Maybe that strategy isn't so useful. He's almost dead though. I beat him. Easy boss, easy life. Okay. Last level, here we go. Last level, just as I finished my soda. Uh, it didn't really work. I thought he was spawning really, really good turrets that would be useful, but he wasn't. He was basically just spawning fodder so that most of my rockets would get distracted. I don't know why I'm holding Crouch. Health? Health? Thank you. I beat her. That's, uh... Time! World record by more than... or by almost 20 minutes. That's the whole game. Uh, and considering how many times I died on those few levels, yeah, definitely sub 1 hour 30 is easy. Uh, 1 hour 15 also probably pretty reasonable. <laughs> God, that's ugly. I love it. I love this show. I love this game. Okay, now here's what I don't understand. There's something that can happen to cause you to get a bad ending. Where you get to this point in the game, and Fung comes up, and instead of saying, Bob, you saved us, he says, like, I'm sorry, Enzo is dead. You weren't able to save everybody. I have a way that you can go back in time, though, and do better. And I don't know what I did different to, to uh... I don't know what I did different to get the good ending. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But apparently I did it this time. Even though I got a bunch of game overs and restarted a bunch of levels. I don't know. Anyway, and then once you beat all the levels, there's this replay option where you can, uh... You can do that. I don't think it is just killing the bosses quickly, because the, uh... When I did it the first time, and I unlocked the the replay levels option, all the levels were gray like this, except for level 8 was black. And yeah, maybe it is just a time thing, where level 8 I took so long. I don't know. I don't know. This is a really fun game, though. I like it. Oh, I'm not... I want to compare against 
Balance PB. There we go. Is that right? 143.37? Is that what I... That sounds right. I don't know what time I got. I don't even know. Anyway. Oh, <sighs> I'm glad. Glad I did that, though. Definitely gonna keep running this, though. See how far I can push that down. Um, I've got time, though, and I'm not really that tired. I might run something else, but I don't know what. Maybe we should boycott Smash Ultimate because they're releasing it on Pearl Harbor Day. Yeah, we can do that. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that, Jake? Let's get on that. Uh, Spyro 3 100%. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, maybe I could do Spyro 2 100%, because that'll take, like, five hours. Uh, I just want to practice this level again real quick, because I didn't expect it to take me as long as it did. Ugh! Okay. Yeah, clearly that's just something I need to practice. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, what other splits do I even already have? Not a whole lot. You know what, I I kind of do want to try Spyro 2 100% and see how that goes. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to... Here, I'm going to close that real quick. I'm going to set up my away scene. Um... And then I'm going to download the splits from speedrun.com. I did not mean three. I'm not doing a nine hour run right now. Even like the five hour run that I'm going to do right now is a little silly. Um... Also, I just realized I don't know most of the tricks that I need to do. So, uh... Downloading splits doesn't actually make a lot of sense for me. Hmm. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm going to... go to my splits folder. Find that can go ahead and open it I'll be a minute setting this up Good, good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Gonna open UPSXE again. 